All right, all right, all right. Leo, what it be, yo? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Vera. It is Scorpio, right? Several. I am back at it again. I am back, 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 back. I am back at it again. And I'm not re recording this video. Listen, um, we are here today to find out what your inner guidance message is to yourself. What message it is that you would like to speak to yourself that you would like to tell yourself right now to just get you going and get you in the right frequency okay so i want to give a shout out to all my ogs a shout out to all my newbies to every last one of my babies for like sharing subscribing and clicking this video thank you guys for your patience i got six i had to take a little bit of time off but i'm back at it if you guys hearing me being a little bit hoarse or you know having to um clear my throat it's because i'm still kind of coming up out of this cold but we're still here and we're going to get that inner self-guided message that you have for yourself so um before we get into the energy leo we're going to um bow our heads and you know give god grace and thanks so <clears throat> Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of Leo. We're here to get um, inner self-guidance message. We're here to um, speak to ourselves right now and to, um, you know, reach deep down inside and um, tell ourselves what we need to know right now. Um, the hardest thing that we can do, you know, sometimes it's like we, we face and we look for answers for other people when a lot of times we really just need to um, look within ourselves. But, you know, it's hard to you can't talk to yourself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just sit there out of person in front of you and just like have a conversation with yourself. So that's what we're trying to do right now. So, Father God, can you please give us the guidance that all the Leos need to receive right now? If their inner self can sit down and talk to them right now, what would they say? Father God, please give us the message that we need. To receive in Jesus' name, we appreciate you. We appreciate your love. We we appreciate your protections. We we uh, <laughs> We appreciate your participation in our growth. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, and Amen. I don't know what's going on today. All of a sudden, <clears throat> I'm getting off horse. Let me get a refresher. All right, Leo, let's get into this reading. Let's see what we got on the table. All right. So what is the inner self-guided message that we have for the sign of Leo today? What is the inner self-guided message for the sign of Leo? Leo, what it be, yo? What do you need to say to yourself today? You got clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. All right. So it's focusing on your listening skills. Okay. Clear audience. All right. And clear cognizance. Okay. So right now. You have a lot of enheightened spiritual skills. It says pay attention to your thoughts and ideas as they come to you as their answer prayers. So listen to your inner mind and pay attention to the thoughts. <laughs> so that's that crown chakra. And most definitely that's that... Uh, that's that crown chakra and that's that uh, third eye chakra that you need to uh, pay attention to right now. Hmm. Your listening skills. Let's see. I just seen that Queen of Pentacles. And this is the like before tarot deck. So, and then you got the Wheel of Fortune too. So, <laughs> in that picture i should have took it out but let's see if it comes back out hold on got the moon okay 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 hold on let me see all right so real quick in that picture of the queen of pentacles it's like she's sleep she's meditating but she's like outside and she's grounded in nature and it's like this snake like coming to offer her a pinnacle 
but it's like she's so entranced in what her inner voice is telling her or her being grounded to what the force of nature is feeding to her. So like she's not even paying attention to the offering that's in front of her. So with that being said, it's like you got the ace of wands. You and then here she got here it is. Like it literally came out. It literally came out. That was for you. Leo, that was for you. Okay. This was meant for that message was meant for you. Do you see how focused she is in like this meditation or this sleep? She is like so grounded and what her inner guided messages that she's receiving for herself because you see she's grounded she can't even see the pinnacle that is being offered to her right now it's like nature's gift and you got the ace of wands so you got like a new foundation you see how something is like being shed and it's being burnt away for new fertile grounds so if you see these are seasons so I'm getting like a natural forest fire. I don't know if you guys are from like the West Coast or something. It's still devastating. You know what I'm saying? It, it seems like it's devastation, but it's meant to replenish. You know, natural forest fires, it really happens because like the ash and all of that stuff, the soot, it does some type of fertilization to the ground, to the soil. So that the next spring, the next harvest, the next crops, the next fruits, it's something about that ash and that soot or something in that, that resin. Like once it gets down in the soil, it does give some type of protein or, or nutrients to the soil. And it's like every time like the fresh roots start to grow, it's like there is stronger and stronger and stronger. So that there's some type of like growth going on right now. And I want to say it's happening in your sleep. It's happening beneath your feet. I want to say it's happening without you knowing. I want to say your inner focus on yourself right now is so deep that you are not even paying attention to the grass growing on. <laughs> like beneath your feet. It's like I want to say you could feel it. I want to say, but it's, it's like you're not paying attention to it because it's like you're listening. It's like you're listening to your inner voice. You're listening to those thoughts. It's like, I feel like you're gathering internal information right now to make your next move. You see what this page is? This is the page of wands. The page of wands is also about messages. And you see, it's like this person is like, I don't know if this is like a tombstone or something. I don't think, I don't know, I don't, I don't think that that's a tombstone. It's like some type of marking or something. And, and it's, this guy is sitting here trying to figure out some type of language. It's like some type of foreign language or something. Well, I just, I feel like you're about to try to study or pick up a different native tongue or, 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 or a language of speaking. It's like, you may be studying some like ancient language or something like that. Like some type of old native tongue. Like some type of Egyptian hier hieroglyphics, but it's not Egyptian. It could be like... Um, South American like uh, 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 Aztec or something what the hell does that have it's not that what the hell does that have to do with anything but it's like still the page of wands is like someone finding some type of new interest like seeking something like going on some type of adventure so I don't know if you might be traveling like going to some type of ancient landmarks or something like that. 
And again, y'all have to tell me where I'm getting this because, like, I don't know what this has to do with anything. But I feel like you guys are like. What does Ace of Wands? Because what is this in the back? It's like a whole different township or something. I feel like you guys may be moving. With this Ace of Pentacles right here, I mean with this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you guys could be receiving like a major blessing. Something that it may come overnight while you're sleeping. Or I'm going to say like while you're not focused on it. Like while you're not focused on something. And you're paying attention to you, like your inner thoughts on your next plan of action. Because again, this is, I feel like you're studying something. You're learning. There's something of interest is like that you're about to pick up and start moving towards. And with this Ace of Wands, it is some new beginning. It's like some new residence. Because you see this all the way in the background. It's like a very nice house, a township or something. So I want to say like it's in reach. Or maybe it's like some place that you're planning on traveling or going to. It's like it's in reach. Very strong on you like getting rid or you receiving like some overload. That is removing old things that you used to do. It's like resin. It's like soot. It's like fertilizer for your new growth. Yeah. I still like, please, I hope somebody ain't been telling me, oh, I am traveling. I am like studying this right now. I am like, like I don't know, my inner mind just like told me to start like studying like Aztec something and I'm actually going there <laughs> like <laughs> in February like I don't know like, <laughs> like that's kind of what I'm getting because I'm I am kind of getting like February because these are like two wands here it's like January February like I am planning on going Give me guidance, Leo. A shower of abundance. I, I'm trying to tell you something is going to come to you like when you're asleep. The ocean. The water. I just heard like... You guys are paying attention to pictures right now. I don't know, like you guys may be... Um, developing an interest in art i don't know why or where that's coming from but you guys i want to say like um i i feel like you guys are picking up an interest in like paintings it's like pretty paintings it could be paintings of like people near the ocean I feel like it brightens your room up. It gives like a um, a different flow, a different feeling to your environment of your house and stuff like. And I feel like these ex these are expensive um, paintings, and like they're real paintings, like from like very highly established artists and stuff like that. I feel like you guys are investing in your environment. You guys may be taking a vacation near some water very soon. Well, I just heard Alabama. I heard somebody may be like, um, or I'm here in a state like Alabama, Arizona, because you see it looks kind of like desertous. It doesn't look like there's a lot of water there. But then when you look over here, you see it's a fresh stream of water. 
in a nice big castle, a big house, and you see it's in, in reach. It even in her background, you see it's the stream of water. I feel I feel like it kind of starts off with like an interest. Like you see how this person is interest, in, interested in this picture, in this Aztec painting or this whatever the heck it is. And it just like opens up a door to something. And it's like, okay, well, I want to travel there. I want to get to know. And then you end up getting into uh, ancient artifacts or like... Um, ancient portraits and stuff and then you start port uh, purchasing these things and then now all of a sudden you want to be near water and it's just like I feel like it's opening you up to expanding yourself not only that I feel like your your um, finances are exploding I mean, I feel like you've already been able to take care of yourself pretty well. But going forward, I feel like you can put more focus on your passions and interests. I feel like money comes to you when you're asleep. It's like, well, I feel like you could kind of like take some vacation time off, like maybe a month or two off and just travel. I feel like someone is like literally worked that hard or they have that much vacation saved up or something where it's like you could just go off and be an adventurer. You could go to a place and sit by the water for like two months if you want to. You could go and purchase you a vacation home. Like that could also be it as well. Anyway, let me just keep on going because this one is like very intriguing to me. You got the Ten of Cups. You got the freaking Ten of Cups. And you see how you got the four leaf clovers all around? I like this. This is like new beginnings and high expectations of. of, of. Wow. Well, I feel like you didn't even know that this was coming to you. I feel like you were kind of in search of yourself and you were in your own little fucking groove or something like that. Like, again, I feel like something is going to be received to you, like, in your sleep. It's like, I, I swear, I feel like you're so grounded. You're so grounded. And... The fact that you're so grounded and you're letting like whatever the old parts of you wash away to fertilize this new beginning for you. And I feel like this, um, a lot of the parts of the new beginnings is finding its way to you. I don't even see like you creating that much of movement. I feel like you're grounded where you're at. I feel like these things are coming within reach to you. You know, it's like opportunities being gifted to you. It's like as soon as you wake up, it's like, boom, here you go. <laughs> like, you want to, you still want this opportunity? You still want to move? You still want this new job? You still want to uh, travel? You still want to start this business over here? You still want this new lease on life? It's like, yeah, and it's like you just kind of like start moving towards this adventure. And it's like, along the way, you find, like, extreme fulfillment and happiness. Like, what? <laughs> Did not just see the four cups with the penguins. I want to say, like, <laughs> I want to say, like, you could have moved. Like, you were moving slow. You got the king of coins in the reverse. You got the king of coins. Explain the king of coins in the reverse, please. 
What does that have to do with anything? This is a lot. You got the Ace of Swords and then the King of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. In the death card. Okay, because I was about to say, baby, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Okay, so... I'm definitely getting that you have a new lease on life. I want to say, like, whoever it is in this energy is coming out of a phase where... um, I want to say that you could have had, like, issues with stability. Um... Issues with security and like making some type of like final decision for yourself about something. That's why it's like the clear audience and the clear cognizance. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas as they come to you as they answer prayers. That's why the Ace of Swords is in the reverse. Because it's like you can, it, I feel like you have this unique ability to create and educate. And whoever this is, is a, uh, a very masculine and dominant energy. But it, it was something here where it's like, you're unsure about yourself. Because the, the king of pentacles in the reverse is someone that has a very good idea, has a very ingenious invention. Um, with the king of swords and the king of pentacles in the reverse, it's like, but you could keep working, 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 working on a project. It's like where you will feel like it's never perfect to put it out. It's like you continue critiquing and you continue working on it towards the point where it's like you almost mess it up. Where it was, I want to say like it was a perfect, it was perfect in the beginning until you continue tinkering around with it and you took it so far from the original vision. Like, have you ever done that to yourself? Like, as a woman, have you ever styled your hair and it was perfect at first and then you took it out thinking you was going to put it back together better and you were never able to put it back together? <laughs> like, it was, you should have just left it alone. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you guys coming out of a phase where it's like, you guys are over critical of your own work. You guys are um, overcritical or uh, your expectations are too high of your own self where it like kind of holds you back from experiencing life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like it's something about an old way or something that you used to do. It's like you're getting rid of that, you know, and because you're allowing that to dissipate. And fertilize who you're trying to become. It's like new offerings are being given to you. New permanent offerings. New permanent offerings. This death card here. And again, you are Leo. So sometimes, just like the Scorpio energy, it's hard to let go of, you know, we're fixed signs, you know. So it's something that is coming out of you that is dying out that is needing to end because you're being replenished, you're being reborn. And I love, I love the way he's kind of dressed. He's, uh, he's a little fly little thing there. You know what I'm saying? Like he's dressed to impress, you know? So it's like you're showing up more confident, more aware. And more able to move, like you feel more free and 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 hmm, what's the word? It's like you don't have no you don't have nothing holding you back, you don't have no baggage. Like you know how sometimes people come into situations with a whole bunch of baggage of their pastime or Things that they're still holding on and mourning and letting and they're not letting it go. I feel like you feel okay now that that part of your life is over. You really do. It's like so you're showing up now like more 
assure yourself and proud. So you may be like taking little cat uh, uh, characteristics of yourself that you know you need to get rid of. Number one, um, not facing your inner truth, listening to yourself, listen to your ideas. You know, like I said, notice the loving guidance that you hear inside your mind or from other people. Like, don't over criticize yourself. Don't over like maybe those messages came to you for a reason. Maybe the um, information that you've been receiving is for a purpose. Like, you know, try to be more positive minded. You know what I'm saying? Don't doubt yourself and don't doubt others so much. You know what I'm saying? It's something about being over critical and like. Second guessing information. It's like not looking at something as truth. It's like, I, you know, and again, it's like the King of Pentacles is very responsible. Is a is a responsible family guy. Um, his time is very important. His time is very very important. He doesn't like to waste time and he doesn't like his character and his um, reputation to be tainted. The same thing as the King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone that people come to um, because they look at this person as someone as important. That's like a, a judge or um, a surgeon, uh, a professor, like even the King of Pentacles, a professor. So it's like you got to know what you're doing. You got to be confident in what you're doing. You don't want um, a king of a king of swords that you're supposed to be, like I said, a, a highly renowned surgeon. But you walk in there like you're not sure of yourself or like you forgot the way you successfully performed the, the same surgery the other day. You sitting there acting like you didn't do it the other day. Like it wasn't you. Or you, you Like you got to go look at a book to remember what you said. And You know what I'm saying? It's like doing away with that. It, it's something about like confidence and character and washing away those aspects of yourself. And I'm looking over here at this Ten of Cups right here. It's important because I want to say it's like your legacy, your children, like what you're passing down to them. That's why it's important to be grounded. That's why it's important not to hold yourself back. If it's something that you aspire to do, if it's something that you want to experience, if it's something that you are interested in, you don't hold yourself back. Go create that. Go do it. Like, don't worry about failures. Don't worry about, like, the only way that you're going to learn and really, like, gain the full bounty, the full experience of life if, if you get out there and do something about it. If, if you experience it. Like, don't sit back and, like, worry, fright, or have fear limit you. Because again, it's like, instead of just going to the little Aztec, whatever it is, it's like you too busy sitting back, reading a whole bunch of comments. And it's like, you'll go and read the bad comments first just to see what people didn't like about it. Instead of just going and enjoying the experience and realizing and living it for yourself. So it's like, don't, not worrying what people have to say. It's like doing what you want to do. Like being that creative. Listening to what you want to do. Being grounded in what you want to do. That way when you wake up, life is handing these blessings to you. If you want to be an artist, begin. Purchase, like invest in it. Until your life becomes it. You know what I'm saying? One step at a time. And I really feel like you're going to find success, love, security, and all of that stuff along the way. Like, it's like you got to get yourself out there. Like, don't second-guess yourself. 
Like that's the main thing that's screaming to me right now, Leo. Is like don't second guess yourself. Don't think so much that you miss opportunities and you let life pass you by. Like really reach out there, ground yourself, listen to that inner guidance, listen to that inner voice, wake up and let life hand it to you. Like yeah, that's the message. That's the message. So anyway, Leo, I hope that this resonates. Y'all let me know how this resonates down in the comment section. I love you. Thank you for loving me. I'm about to go do your love reading. So I'll see you guys over there. Peace.